Hello, everyone. This is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides and author of Twitter in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be talking about advertisements on Twitter and dealing with them using the desktop version of Twitter. And if you have a Twitter account, no doubt you've started seeing these uh, ads popping up in your feed, even though you don't follow these particular accounts. So this is my In 30 Minutes account um, at In 30 Minutes. And as soon as I open it up, this second uh, tweet that shows up in the timeline is an advertisement from Ancestry.com. What does your German surname say about you? And w one thing to know about advertising on Twitter is usually Twitter tries to match the advertisements for what your interests are. So the reason why I'm seeing this advertisement and you might be seeing a different advertisement in that position is because a lot of the time I'm tweeting about genealogy and things like that because one of the books in our series is Genealogy Basics in 30 Minutes. So when I mention that, Twitter says, oh, this person likes genealogy, so let's show them some advertisements about genealogy services. And that's what's happening here. The problem is, is that the ads are repetitive and sometimes they're really irritating. Let me show you one that popped up in my feed further down. Um, it is right here. So this is an advertisement. These two butts <laughs> showed up in my feed. From Reuters TV, uh, it's a they're promoting the International London Tattoo Convention. If you've been aware of these advertisements, you probably know that you can also get rid of them pretty easily just by clicking the dismiss button. Okay, I clicked it; it's gone. The problem is, Twitter may think that I still might want to see the ads later on, and even if I click out of them, it might appear the the same ad or a different ad from the same source may also appear in my feed again in the future. So what I'm going to sh show you right now is how to get rid of the ads for good from that source. Now, uh, let's do it with Ancestry.com. So it says promoted. And then if you hover over promoted, this little hard to read uh, dismiss link will show up. If I click that right now, this ad would disappear from my feed right now. But tomorrow, when I'm using Twitter, it might show up again, or another ad from Ancestry might show up again. And actually, I don't want that to happen. I'm sick of Ancestry ads. There's two things you can do. One is you click on the profile, and then you click on the gear icon, more user actions. You'll see a bunch of different options here. The ones that we're interested in are mute and block. I'll describe block first. So if I click block at Ancestry, it will say Ancestry will no longer be able to follow or message you and you will not see notifications from Ancestry. So if I click that red button there, that's the last time I'm ever going to see Ancestry in my feed again, unless I unblock them later on. Um, there's also the option to mute them. Let's take a look and see what that says. Mute Ancestry. It says you will no longer receive notifications from Ancestry. Learn more. I'm going to undo that for a second just to talk about what the difference is between the two. So if it says that I don't see any more notifications from it, it means it won't show up in my feed. However, Ancestry will still be able to follow me and may, in fact, see my tweets and they may respond to something. I just won't see it and I won't see their ads. I won't see any of their tweets. They will, in, in other words, they will be totally oblivious of the fact that uh, I've kind of shut them up. They may think that, you know, uh, something that they're saying to me or their advertisements are showing up, but actually I'm not seeing any of it. And then blocking them will actually not only prevent them from showing me any notifications, they can't even follow me. They can't, if, if they mention me, it just, I won't see anything about that. So blocking is really more serious than muting somebody. And in fact, sometimes when people want to get rid of um, trolls or people who are harassing them on Twitter, they prefer to mute them rather than block them. Because if you block them, they know that um, you won't be able to see them. And sometimes they'll, you know, they'll start following you with another account or something. Whereas if you mute them, they don't know that um, you've done this. And what it means is you just won't see it. You won't see their notifications or ads or tweets anymore but they won't know that. So I generally prefer the mute option. I'm gonna mute Ancestry. Okay, there, I won't see any notifications from Ancestry. If I go back to my feed, home feed, um, of course, uh, the Ancestry ads will be gone, but know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna to start to see ads from other sources. And one thing I've learned is no matter how many times you mute 
or block other advertising accounts, there's always some other advertiser out there and you'll start seeing those ads instead. Unfortunately, Twitter does not offer a way to block ads completely. If they did, I'd probably pay for it because I'm really sick of seeing ads, uh, but they do not offer this option. So you're going to have to uh, live with advertisements, particularly on the desktop version of Twitter. If you use the mobile app for Twitter, you can actually disable, partially disable advertisements by turning off images, uh, but the ads, the text, and the links will still show up in your feed. For more information on how to get the most out of Twitter, check out my book, Twitter in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.